Alright friends, so I'm going to show you how I go about drawing a tiger shark. Yes, and it's all going to start with a little dot right around here. I'm going to put a dot right over there and that's where the body of our tiger shark is going to start. I'll bring his nose coming down to the corner here and his tail going up to the other corner. Okay, you ready? You ready? Everybody ready? Now remember to press softly in the beginning. We're going to press softly. That's right. We're going to press softly because uh, we might want to adjust those lines or erase them or ignore them later on, yeah? Okay, if you got a pencil, remember to press softly. I'll be using a pen so you can see a little bit. Then later on you can go and press hard and I'll use a bigger pen so you can see even better. Alright, let's start by putting a dot right around there, right? Maybe two, you know, three quarters to the page. Anyway, right around there. Okay, we've got a little dot in the page, believe me. And from that dot, I'm going to bring kind of a torpedo shape, okay? Right there, okay, a long skinny teardrop. And if you want, you can give them a little more of a point up here by adding kind of like a triangle, okay? Bing, 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 bing. Okay, you see the shark's body starting up now? Now, what kind of shapes do you think about when you think about a shark? Triangles, perhaps? Yeah, I think so. A lot of those triangles in sharks, yeah? Especially the famous one up there on the top. It's called a dorsal fin. You ready? Okay, let's put a triangle on the top for the dorsal fin. Now, the tail can be two triangles, and the top one's going to be a long, skinny one. Let's go from that dot again, and let's take that to the corner of the page, all the way and then come back. So we got a kind of a nice long thin upper tail fin. The bottom one's going to be a lot shorter. It looks cool. Yeah, go make another triangle over there. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, so those two triangles are going to form the tail. We got the dorsal fin. We need another fin right around here called the pectoral fin. Okay, I think. And uh, let's make a triangle right around there. And we know they got two pectoral fins, right? So let's go ahead and repeat the shape down there. Ta-da! Okay, now, I also have another dorsal fin. Yeah, it's called the second dorsal fin. Do I sound smart saying all this stuff? <laughs> I think I just Googled it anyway. Um, down below, they have, a, I call it the over there fin. And uh, that's right around over there, yeah, I think. I think males got like clasper fins. I'm not a total expert, but uh... okay. So enough fins, okay? Now tiger sharks, you know they got a big square nose, and you know they're quite brown when it's time to color them. And do you know that they have like stripes on them, and that's the reason they're called tiger sharks? And do you know that those stripes when they're young are more like a series of circles in a line and when they get older they kind of fade out to look like stripes yeah these are all cool things to know about tiger sharks it's like a tiger in the sea oh boy well, i tell you what all sharks i think have a maca yeah the kind you see with and we'll put the maca right around there and right behind the maca let's do one more triangle yeah, how about a triangle for the mouth? Let's make it go up there. You see it? <laughs> Soon you'll see it a little better. And in that mouth triangle, let's make a bunch of triangles for what? Yes, the teeth. Wahoo! Oh boy, this shark has so many triangles. Well, I tell you what, they also have slits that water goes through where they can breathe in their gills, and they are called gill slits. And different kind of shark got different amounts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that goes behind the mouth, behind the eye, somewhere over there. Now I'm gonna separate the bottom and the top part of the tiger shark with a kind of a jagged line, you know? And uh, jigga jigga, you know, I think, uh, yeah, we can put some jigga jiggas maybe right around the fins or the gill slits, the belly. Okay, I just made a line over there. And there is the form up of my tiger shark. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is get a bigger pen and you can press a little harder, okay? All right. 
So now I'm going to go over this form up shape of my shark and I might make some adjustments if I think anything's too skinny or too fat or whatever. But I'm going to go around the edge and do all the details of the tiger shark and you can do the same thing too. Okay, tell you what, I'll start right here where this fin starts. Come around the nose. Go all the way to the tail and swoop it up to the tail. Oh, up here at the tail, I'm going to give it a little notch right there. Swoop around and that's how I go about forming up the tail. Okay, I'm coming all the way back right to the fin. And I'll stop right there. And you know, you can always tell people what's in front of what by what line goes in front of another line. Yeah, and that's a good thing to do on this bottom fin. I'll make a fin and it'll come there and it'll come there. So it goes in front of the belly line and I'm not going to close it over here. I'm going to leave it open a little gap. Yeah, telling the viewer that the fin's a little bit in front of the belly. However, the other side pectoral fin is going to be behind the belly. Bing, 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 bing. Yep. All right, let's get on to the dorsal fins because they're on top the dorsal area. Notice I don't follow exactly if I don't want to. Um, second dorsal fin, over there fin. Um, mouth. Yeah. Oh man, you can make your shark happy, sad. I don't know. Triangle teeth if you want the mouth open. Oh. Boy, that looks kind of spooky. They gotta eat stuff. Uh, put the maca in, yeah, right where you want, and the gill slits. Dun, 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 dun. But the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this kind of jagged line where, you know, the colors change. Yeah, the top part is darker. All right, and you can put a little nostril, yeah. <laughs> now another thing you can do with tiger shark is you can make some swoosh marks and bubbles and you know swoosh marks are kind of cool in cartoons bubbles swoosh marks and of course you can have a good time by putting all kinds of fish and things around your shark even uh, what kind of fish is that that follows him it's like the remora yeah I'm gonna try, I don't know what they look like really. They're usually kind of dark. Here, I think the remora can even, they got a suction cup on their head, I think. Okay, and there you have it. A beautiful tiger shark. I hope you had a good time learning about how to draw the tiger shark with me. If you'd like to learn more about drawing and painting Hawaiian animals, visit my YouTube channel or www.patrickching.com. Aloha.